Welcome back to Code Cloud and Helps Ask Me Anything. I'm Dara and I got another question. And it goes thus, it says, Hi Mr. Dara, I always watch your videos. I'm learning DevOps currently. Amazing. It's been challenging, honestly. Please, I would like to know what it was like for you when you started. And are uh, really, are there really jobs in Nigeria for freshers? Now, Thanks for watching my videos and for your kind comments. I really love it. Uh, it goes a long way and makes me very, very glad, especially this new year. Now, I'm glad you're learning DevOps really, and it's a very useful and rewarding skill to have DevOps. It's really interesting. I would never look back on this career ever, ever. Now, I know it can be challenging at first, but trust me, it gets just a little bit easier with practice and patience. When I started learning DevOps, I I was very confused. Well, not super, super confused like that, but I think I was more overwhelmed by all the tools and concepts I needed to learn. I had to watch Dora videos, loads of them, which there were not a lot of during that time, read a lot of blog posts, and did a lot of hands-on projects to get the hang of it. It took me a while to master, but I I did not give up. I knew that was what I actually loved and that is what I wanted to do. I still love it. And of course, I joined some communities and forums where I could ask questions and get feedback from other DevOps professionals. I can remember back in those years following Microsoft Build Conference closely and learning from the likes of Donovan Brown, Ibel Wang, God rest his soul, and lots of DevOps folks who work on the products I was actually using to do DevOps. So that goes a long way. If you can learn directly from the people who actually work on the products, I think it goes a long way. And that was really for me. There was not, there was no, what I call it, a, there was no concrete learning part when I started out in the world of DevOps. It was just do the project as you go. Uh, but I can probably say, that was good for me back then because I got the project. I knew what I needed to do, but I didn't know how to do it. So I would go online, search for resources to do it, and then I'll do it. Then my skill improved. That was the way I learned DevOps myself. But now for you as a person, now there are more refined DevOps pathways and roadmaps. I actually made a comprehensive video on that one. I can watch it using one of the links popping up somewhere at the top here, I also try to put a link in video in the video description and also as a pinned comment. Now, as for jobs for freshers in Nigeria, I think there are opportunities, uh, but I'd probably say they are not that easy to find, at least not yet. And that is the true reality at the moment. Although it will get better, trust me, it's a lot better now than it used to be. Although it's not where it's supposed to be quite yet. Now, and the reason for that is that not a lot of companies, especially small businesses, even know what great things they can get done with adding a DevOps engineer to their team. So you have to network with a lot of people in the industry, showcase your portfolio and really stand out and connect with people who actually connect with software engineers, connect with people who are in the field. That's where when the CEO opportunities they bring that across to you. And that is some of the things I've been trying to do in my community where I created a specific group for jobs and opportunities. So when I get stuff like that on my radar, I will push it out there. When people in the community get it on their radar, they put it in there. And then if your skills fit, you apply for it. That is something I'm trying to do also. Hopefully I'm successful at it. So, uh, so be willing also to apply to as many jobs as possible, as many as you can. Never limit yourself. And you also need to be flexible and willing to learn new things on the job. Uh, if you see a job role that you don't quite qualify for, I will tell you for a fact, still apply for it. And then what you want to showcase at interviews, at least is that you are willing to learn that skill in good time once you get the job. And one thing also is don't be discouraged. If you face rejections, challenges, you know, you apply for many jobs, you probably don't even hear back from them. It's happened to me quite a number of times. But one thing I would do if I wasn't in your shoes is I would just keep improving my skills and building on my confidence. And as I said, I will encourage that you join the community where updates like this are shared, jobs, videos, things that 
just come on my radar and I can share them because I don't usually even come on Twitter, Instagram. Most of the posts I do on social media are automated and timed. So, but if I see something that is really nice and cool, I post it first to the community before it comes to the general world. So I'll advise you to join the community if you have not joined, done so already. And if you've done, just give me a ping and a shout out. I will be glad to hear from you. I'll put a link to the community in the video description and also as a pinned comment. And I hope that answered the question to an extent. I hope to hear from you in the comments and also in the community. Now, if you have more cold cloud and DevOps Ask Me Anything questions, you can put them using the link showing right now upon your screen or scan the QR code showing right about now. And generally, that's it from me for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and you know, share with your friends, share with anyone you think might need to hear what I have to say. And if you've not done so yet, remember to subscribe and you know, turn on the notifications so you don't miss further videos like this one. I will try to post like every week now. Now that I have a more comprehensive and ready to go set up. So I will be producing a lot of content more steadily now, at least for this year. So get ready for that. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I will get back to work now and I'll see you again in another video. Stay safe and goodbye.